market meant to be. The first time I spoke, the first time I faced an audience, my mind was blank. I could not remember a single word of my notes. I closed my eyes for an instant. Then something strange happened. In a flash, I saw it. The drudgery and humiliation of the factory where I had been working. The failure of my marriage. The Chicago crime. I began to speak. Words I had never heard myself utter before came pouring out faster and faster. They came with passionate intensity, painting images of the heroic men on the gallows, their glowing vision radiant in freedom. The audience, the audience vanished. The hall itself disappeared. I was conscious only of my own words, my own ecstatic song. I stopped. Tumultuous applause rolled over me. The buzzing of voices. People telling me something I could not understand. Then I heard someone quite close to me. It was an inspired speech. But what about the eight-hour day? You said nothing about that. I felt hurled down from my exalted heights, crushed. I told the chairman I was too tired to answer questions, and I went home to my sister's apartment feeling it.